What's going on all you calm cool savages? I'm your host Wesley and you're watching CCS TV. In this video, I'm going to show you how to set up discord rules for your mods in your community. Now before we get into the video, smash like, smash subscribe. This is how we do it when the vocals turn the rhyme and the beats start to collide and it starts to intertwine. Now it's sounding, sounding great. It's sounding, sounding great. So either you watched my video, how to make a discord for your Twitch stream 2020, or you just made a brand new discord. And now you're probably wondering, hmm, how do I make roles for the community? Well, don't worry, I got you covered. Go to your discord channel and at the top left, there's a drop down arrow. Click on that and then click on server settings. To add your roles, go ahead and click on roles. Here is where you add roles for your Discord server. Right across from roles where you see the little plus sign, it says create role. You're gonna wanna click this. I recommend the first role you add is a new member role. So we're gonna name this one new member. Choose a color you would like the role to be. And below is where you set up the role settings. For this role, you can go ahead and leave these two unchecked. If you scroll down, it says general permissions. The only permissions you need for this role are pre-setup. The only one that I strongly recommend you to change is the mention. Mention means members with this permission can at everyone or at here to ping all the members in the Discord. And if a new member or a troll joins your Discord and adds everyone 2,000 times, it's going to be super annoying. So make sure you turn that one off. And the other ones that you want to have on are create invite, change nickname. You might want to change nickname off if you want to know who your Discord members are. You're going to want read text channels and see voice channels on, send messages, send TTS messages, embed links, attach files, read message history, use external emojis, add reactions. For voice permissions, you can have people connect, speak, and this is totally up to your Discord. You can have members stream into your voice chat. And finally, use voice activity. Once you're done setting the permissions, hit save changes. Now I recommend that you have a total of five different roles, including the new member role. And this is not including the mod or admin role. So to give you guys a few ideas on what kind of roles you can make, go ahead and create a new role. For this next role, name it regulars. And for all the roles that you make, go ahead and set all the general permissions the same. Once we get to the mod and the admin roles, I will show you what permissions they should have. Go ahead and create another role. In this role, you can name it something like community member. Now that's a total of three roles. We're gonna want two more. This next one, you can name it VIP. And for the last role, let's go ahead and name this one OG member. Now there you have your five star rules. When someone first joins your server, you will give them a new member role. And as they move up in the community, you can begin to give them new roles. So they'll eventually become a regular, which will eventually become a community member, VIP, then OG member. If you guys wanna know how to set up a bot that automatically gives new members roles, and as they rank up in the channel, it will automatically give them a new role. Leave it in the comments below. I will make a sequel to this video showing you guys how to set that up. So now that you got your five starter roles, you're going to want a mod and an admin role. So create a new role and name this one mods. Try to choose a bright color so that people know who your mods are. Now when creating a mod role, there's a few extra general permissions that you can give them. So for this, you're going to want to check manage channels, kick members, ban members, manage nicknames if you have that one on, manage messages, mute members, deafen members, move members, and priority speaker. And this includes all the base permissions that you had for the other roles. Hit save changes. Now go ahead and create the final role. And this is gonna be the admin role. Now when creating the admin role, the general permissions you want, and this is totally up to you. I only recommend giving these permissions if you really trust the person that you gave admin to. You can allow them to view audit log, manage server, manage roles, manage channels, kick members, ban members, manage nicknames, manage emojis, manage webhooks, manage messages, move, deafen, mute members, save changes. Now there's one final thing that you wanna do and you wanna organize your roles from top to bottom. So I always recommend putting the admins and the mods at the top. Then I recommend putting the new members at the bottom. Following up with regulars, community member, VIP, and OG member. Don't worry about these three down here. 
Those are for bots that I have not talked about yet. You won't have a stream cord or a Mi 6, but at everyone will be there. At everyone is basically everyone in the Discord. These are all the permissions a new member will have in your Discord if they just join for the first time. Click save changes and go back to your Discord. If you look over to the right, you're not gonna see any roles unless there is a member online in that role. So as you can see, I could set myself over here, calm, cool, savage into the admin role and it will give me the admin color. If you're not sure how to give a new member a role, all you have to do is go find their name on this right side, right click, go down to role, and select the role you want them to be in. If you select multiple roles, like if I'm an OG member and I also select mod role, I will have the permissions of both. And there you have it. That's how to set up roles for your Discord server. That's the end of the video, you guys. If this video helped you out in any way, leave a comment below. Let's start a conversation down there. I love helping new streamers with stream support. So if you have any questions, feel free to ask. And hey, I also stream over at twitch.tv slash calmcoolsavage. I would love to see you guys in the stream. Come on over, drop a follow. And I'm always looking for new streamers to collab with. So if you're interested in collabing, hit me up in a DM or leave it down in the comments with your Twitch channel. Thank you guys so much for the 2K subscribers. I'm gonna keep doing my thing and keep growing my community. If you guys like this video, hit up the like button. If you like the content on the channel, punch out that sub button, turn on notifications. And as always, keep it calm, keep it cool, keep it savage.